Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of HTC Desire 12 Plus smartphone. It comes with a Snapdragon 450 processor, Adreno 506 GPU, 3 GB RAM, 6 inch HD screen and Android 8 Oreo OS. So let's see how much all of these hardware specs are going to contribute when we are going to play a few of the most high-end heavy graphics game. So let's just start it. So today we got few of the most high and heavy graphics game and we are going to play all of them on highest possible graphics setting to see how good our HTC Desire 12 Plus is going to perform. So first of all let's just start with Modern Combat 5 and right now battery percentage is 97 and the temperature of the battery is 27.7 degrees Celsius as you can see so we will also monitor the battery temperature and performance after playing all of these high end games. So let's just start with Modern Combat 5. So you can see that we have selected 60 FPS and the graphics quality selected as optimal it cannot be changed this is the highest possible graphics setting on desire 12 plus while playing modern combat 5 but the frame rate we have selected as 60 so let's play the game and let's see how good our device is going to perform The gameplay is quite smooth on 60 FPS, but the graphics quality is not so great Strike as you can see here. Target eliminated. Confirm extraction location. Over. So the camera angles are changing quite smoothly. No frame drops are lagging, but graphic quality is not good. If you have a look on these objects, you can see it's a bit pixelated and blurred as well. But the gameplay is very smooth. And the volume is full, it's not so great, it's loud enough to enjoy the game. So you can see that gameplay is really nice and smooth at 60 fps but the graphics quality is not so good it's a bit blurry and also uh, pixelated at some points aliasing is happening as you can see but there is no lagging or frame drops this is the best part so now let's play some other games let's play injustice 2 So you can see that the gameplay is quite good here as well. The graphics quality is nice. There wasn't any visible frame drop. If you have noticed anything, just feel free to mention it in the comment section. But the audio quality is not so great. 
the speaker volume is a bit low So the gameplay is quite a smooth of Injustice 2 on Desire World Plus. Now let's play some other games. Now let's play Cover Fire. So as you can see that the graphics quality is selected as high and FPS as 60 on Cover Fire as well. So we are going to play this game also on heavy graphics setting. So you can see there is no frame drops or lagging, everything is looking nice and smooth. The graphics quality is not so great because the GPU is at you know 5 or 6, it's not one of the best GPU available. And also you need to keep one thing in mind that this device got 6 inch screen and the resolution is just 720p HD. And because of that as well, the graphics quality is not so great, it's a bit pixelated, sometimes you can say. So you can see everything was nice and smooth while playing cover fire on 60 fps heavy graphic setting there was no frame drops or lagging that's the most important thing graphic quality obviously was not so great and you can say it's because of the uh, the gpu and also the 720p resolution 6 inch screen so now let's play some other game let's play shadowgun legends it's one of the most high and heavy graphics game and it also runs on 60 fps so let's go to the settings and set the graphics quality as high you can see it was stuck for a while after selecting the high graphics quality and now let's select the 60 fps and let's start the game so you can see there is a bit lagging not too much but a bit for sure So there was just a minor frame drop. The graphics quality is quite good. There is no frame drops or lagging. A minor frame drop was there. But everything else is looking nice and smooth right now. And there was again 
a bit of lagging. And I'm dead. Let's kick some so you can see spots. that graphics quality is quite good. Uh, not so great, obviously. You can see there is some blurriness and graphics is not sharp and smooth. If I'm going closer to an object or something, but from a distance it's looking quite good. And there is no lagging or issue while playing the game so the gameplay is quite a smooth at 60 fps heavy graphics but obviously the graphics quality itself is not so great So even on Shadowgun Legend, the performance of Desire 12 Plus is looking quite good. So I'm assuming if you just reduce the graphics quality or FPS, performance will improve a lot. So while playing Shadowgun Legion on Desire 12 Plus performance was quite good, graphics quality was nice as well considering the fact we are playing this game on uh, a mid-range smartphone not even mid-range and uh, the screen itself comes with low PPI so considering all of these factors performance of Desire 12 Plus is quite good. We played this game on 60 FPS high graphics setting and everything was nice and smooth except few minor frame drops here and there but it didn't affect the gameplay at all. So if you're a gamer, you are going to like Desire 12 Plus. In this price segment, obviously it's a good uh, performing phone we can say. So far so good. And now let's play Dead Trigger. So we are going to play the Dead Trigger as well on the high graphic setting as you can see here. You can see that the graphics quality is really nice and smooth. No frame drops or lagging. You can see that the graphics quality is really nice. Everything is so much in detail and there is no lagging or frame drops. Camera angles are changing very smoothly as well here. Especially the graphics quality is really nice. Much, much better than the rest of the games we were playing so far.
Okay, so I'm being attacked by zombies. Lots of zombies actually. So everything was nice and smooth on Dead Trigger as well, especially the graphic quality was much better while playing this game compared to rest of the games that we have played so far. So now let's play the last game today that's PUBG Mobile. Here you can see that the graphics quality is selected as smooth and the frame rate is selected as medium. So let's move to balanced. You can see that I cannot go further than balanced, no HD, HDR, or Ultra HD, and the frame rate is medium by default. So let's play it on balanced and let's see how good our Desire 12 Plus is going to perform while playing PUBG. Okay, so you can see lots of frame drops and it lagged a lot when i try to change the camera angle you can see it's lagging a lot lots of frame drops sometimes it's okay but sometimes it's lagging so much and frame drops are happening The graphics quality is looking quite smooth. If you have a look on the ground and the surrounding area, it's looking pretty good. And you can see that the camera angles are changing quite smoothly. Right now, no frame drops or lagging here. It's looking pretty smooth. There was slight frame drop once again. And once again, few frame drops over there. The graphics quality is really nice even on balanced as you can see here. Some frame drops are happening for sure and some lagging is there also. So I believe if we reduce the frame rate from the settings so it will be a bit better. I'm not so good in playing this game, I'm just trying to give you an idea if you're going to play PUBG on Desire 12 Plus, so how good will be the graphics quality and all. The gameplay is looking quite smooth, the graphics quality is nice, 
but earlier there were lots of frame drops very frequently. You can see that the graphics quality is good, but sometimes it's lagging. And now camera angles are changing quite smoothly as well. So you can get the idea about the gaming capability of Desire 12 Plus. It is capable of running most of the high and heavy graphics game smoothly without much lagging or frame drops. But at PUBG we are facing some issues for sure. But in rest of the game's performance was quite good. And considering the price and hardware specs, we can say that the gaming experience of Z12 Plus is nice and smooth for most of the games. And you can see that the battery percentage is 82 now. So we started playing the game nearly 50 minutes back and after 50 minutes of gameplay, the battery percentage moved from 97 to 82% and the battery temperature is now 36.7 degrees celsius so you can get the idea about the performance of the device and actually it's not warm you can see that the battery temperature is still just 36 percent and it's not hot at all after playing all of these high-end games for nearly 50 minutes obviously i'm not sharing everything in this video like only the main parts and the whole duration of recording this video was 50 minutes and after that battery percentage reduced from 97 to 82 and the temperature is 36 degrees celsius right now so that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on videos like this i'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day